Okay, people keep asking me about mass properties, which are differentials, we call them diffs, and RGs. People are putting way too much stock in RGs. And I may have some controversy about this one, but my answer to that is where'd you get your engineering degree from, if you have an opinion on this one. RGs. RGs mean is the ball center heavy or shell heavy? But if you look at all the effective RGs in undrilled balls that have been out in the last two decades, they're somewhere between 2.480 and 2.580. So if I take and subtract 2.480 from 2.580, I get 0.1. If I get 0.1 divided by 2, I don't have to do the math in my head. The answer is the most you can change that number is 5%. 5% is not a big difference. But now let's talk about diffs. Effective bowling balls undrilled with total diffs between 0.23 and 053 under the new rules. Okay? So if I go in this range, I can change the diffs and I can multiply it by two and a half times. Because the ball with an 053 diff is two and a half times more diff than the one with the 023. Now let's play with the intermediate diff. Between 000 and effectively, as of right now, 022. 000 intermediate diff, 022. You don't even want to talk about how much of a percentage change that is. That's enormous. So what you're going to find out is, and it's the drilled ball numbers that determine the motion. And I ask people when I do seminars, is there anybody in this room that cares how an undrilled ball rolls? And they all laugh. But they all pay attention to the numbers of the undrilled ball. It's the drilled ball numbers. I'm here to tell you that the most important mass property or specification in a bowling ball is the intermediate diff of the drilled ball. Because that number is the indicator of the shape of the motion of the drilled ball. That's the one you care about. The higher the intermediate diff of the drilled ball, the sharper the breakpoint potential. The lower the intermediate diff of the drilled ball, the smoother the motion potential. So when you're looking at stuff, look for that. Our drilling instructions always list the numbers drilled with any ball with the layouts that we recommend. And the last time I checked, we were the only one that were doing it. So, the intermediate diff of the drill ball is the number you're really interested in. Do these have a minor effect on everything? Sure do. The key word in that sentence is minor. So, Mo Monday, get you straight on differentials and RGs. Thanks for listening.